Hello there, I'm Hiroshi Motomura. I'm a law professor at UCLA. Since there seems to be a great deal of misinformation surrounding DACA, especially on the internet, we thought it would be appropriate to introduce a new video segment where we look at some of those misinformed things and debunk them. So without further ado, let's get to the first tweet. Uh, so this is from at Stephen King, at Iowa. Uh, Obama and Trump agree, DACA and DAPA are clear, unconstitutional. We can't have DACA and DAPA and rule of law. Only double thinks say we can. First of all, I'm not sure when President Obama ever said that his own programs are unconstitutional. Uh, I'd like to see where that's from. Uh, but the main point here is that uh, DACA and DAPA do advance the rule of law because they brought order, uniformity, and transparency to a system that was very chaotic and potentially discriminatory for granting people reprieves from deportation. So here's the next tweet. It's from at John from Cranber. Constitution doesn't apply to non-citizens. They shouldn't be able to sue over being deported. DREAM Act was only an EO, not a law. The main thing here is that the Constitution does apply to non-citizens. Uh, there are concepts of due process, uh, non-discrimination that are fundamental to the Constitution, and they've always applied to a great variety of non-citizens, especially those in the United States, especially those with U.S. citizen families. The next tweet is from at Ken Paxton, Texas. We must phase out DACA and return to the rule of law. The reason that President Obama adopted DACA was to bring some order and some, bring some rule of law to the system of immigration enforcement in this country. Before he adopted DACA, immigration agents throughout the country were in many cases disregarding the guidelines that he had set up to make the system fair, to make the system transparent, to make the system uniform. And it's because those guidelines were not being followed in the field that the president felt that he had to bring some kind of law and order to the system of deportation in this country. So DACA advances the rule of law. DACA does not undermine the rule of law. So the next tweet is from at Mark S. Krikorian, and it reads, even if this were true, it's irrelevant. DACA is illegal, end of story. And there's a URL to the letter uh, that I and 103 other law professors signed uh, explaining why DACA is quite legal. Um, the fact is that DACA is entirely within the president's authority to administer the process of immigration law enforcement. That's been true for many decades. It's been true under Democratic and Republican presidents for at least the last half century. So I hope we've brought some clarity to some of these misconceptions on the internet. And we'll see you next time.